If you feel you're qualified, then you're not qualified. And if you feel that you're following mainstream and you're still not qualified, then you're qualified. So my humble appeal is to please continue to chant minimum 16 hours daily and try your best to strictly follow the four regulated principles. No BTT, no intoxication, no gambling, and no illicit behavior. And at the same time, always try to serve the devotees as much as you can and do something to spread Krishna consciousness in your own way and as much time as you can afford to in the modern mission of the Foundacharya. So it's not a question of being initiated or not being initiated. That will come by higher arrangement. We don't qualify ourselves that we are qualified. We only qualify ourselves by feeling unqualified to engage in the activities of Krishna consciousness, especially of hearing and chanting the holy names. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So for not being invited, or when will I be initiated? When will I be initiated? And after initiated, you don't do much service. Just being anxiety that I'm not doing enough to be Krishna conscious. And that should be the mood even your whole life. Initiation is, is, a, is, is by the way, that will come by higher range. Ask if that answer is okay. I don't know who was getting to it. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, I can uh, I can relate just one past time. Talk to me by his holiness and give you that for me. Is that my notes? Maybe I have. Um, maybe not too much. Uh, it's a famous one. Uh, sometimes we pray to Balaram for strength, like that, because Bala means strength. And so this uh, uh, was discussed at one time. Um, one devotee named Madhuvisa Prabhu was a disciple of Srila Prabhupada and a senior, very senior disciple of Srila Prabhupada. And I opened up the preaching in a, in a leadership way in Australia. It lives in Los Angeles now. Then. So Mother Visa was accompanying Srila Prabhupada and others to the uh, Kumbh Mela in Allahabad in one year. And uh, there was some dispute taking place between him and Mother Yamuna. And uh, the dispute was this. So Mother Visa Prabhu insisted that there is no difference between Krishna and Balaram except the color. Which also Prabhupada said, and also is there in verses in the Chaitanya Chaitanya And Madhavi says that the only difference is that Krishna is like monsoon cloud blackish and Balaram is pure white. Otherwise, there's no difference. And Mother Yamuna said, no, 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 there is difference. There is difference. There is not a difference. And Madhavi says, what is the difference? Yeah. And he said that, and she said that Krishna is the only enjoyer of Radha, not Baba. Yeah. So that's a big difference. <laughs> so the, the two were arguing like that. And, uh, and the two were arguing so much. No, 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 there's no difference, and she said, no, there's a difference. And they said, this is the difference, and this is no difference. Right. So this, this, this matter came to. Tamal Krishna Goswami, who took the matter up to Srila Prabhupada. Okay. And then Tamal Krishna Goswami began by saying um, that uh, Madhavisa Prabhu said that, that Krishna and Balaram are non different, and the only difference is the color. That Krishna is blackish and Balaram is whitish. But there's no difference. Uh, and then Prabhupada said, He is right. <laughs> And then Kamal Krishna said, but 
But the Yamuna said that there is a difference. And the difference is that Krishna is the only enjoyer of Radha. And then Srila Prabhupada said, she is right. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Tamal Krishna Maha said, you know, but they are both saying different things. And you are saying he is right. And Prabhupada, and you are saying that Mother Yuman is right. And Mother Visa is right. And then Srila Prabhupada replied, you are right. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tamal Krishna Goswami, he had this relationship with Prabhupada, he could argue with Prabhupada also. That's relation. So, Prabhupada, no, 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 just, just be clear here. <laughs> <laughs> One of them is right. You know, you know it's like either Madhuvisa is right or Yamuna is right. How can you say he's right and she's right and then you say, okay, then you are right. <laughs> <laughs> Then, then you ask Shiloh Prabhupada, now tell us outrightly who is right. <laughs> you know, you should decide, you know, you should tell us outrightly. <laughs> Prabhupada, who is right? And Shiloh Prabhupada said, you decide. <laughs> 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 oh, that's the <stupid. laughs> Then Shiloh Prabhupada did the temple opening for Krishna Balaram in 1975. Yeah. And then, uh, and then, one disciple asked Srila Prabhupada in the morning walk, like that. Prabhupada just installed Krishna Bhavana. I have a question. And then, and then uh, what's your question? Is who is stronger? Mm-hmm. Krishna or Bhavana? Okay. Then Prabhupada said, okay, you wait when we come to the temple. Then they came to the temple and they were saying Krishna Bhavana. And Krishna Bhavana went deep. Then, then the devotee asked Prabhupada, so he said, you know, who is stronger when he said you come to the temple? He said, yes, see, what is Balaram doing? He is resting on Krishna. He said, therefore, Krishna is always stronger. <laughs> Although Balaram means strength. He is always resting on Krishna. All right. Shiva Prabhupada ki jai, Ananta Pari Vaishnava Vrinda ki jai, Shri Shri Krishna Balaram ki jai, Shri Shri Radha Shama Sundar ki jai, Shri Shri Radha Vandaneshwara ki jai, Karanath Baladev Subhat Hari ki jai, Shri Shri Gaudetai ki jai, Shri Krishna Vastani Mahamod Sava ki jai, Tai Go Pramananda ki jai, Alright, I'll let's fuck you do it, Baba Maharaj, you